Listen to this. Six signs you're a borderline alcoholic. And the report here is, is that a lot of people, they don't know where that line is. And the line gets blurred. Well, a lot of things get blurred if you've got a, an alcohol issue. But these are six signs that you could be a borderline alcoholic. And there's something very important uh, that I, I want to, like, segue into because there are a couple of alcohol stories here. And I've never done what is reported as far as what qualifies as binge drinking. I have never come close to binge drinking. And I'll explain in just a matter of seconds. Yeah, Rox, you were raising your hand like you were in third grade. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Wilder? S- sign number one, you have to read this article and even question whether you are borderline alcoholic, right? Well, yeah. I, l- let me give you the signs here. And somebody who's a borderline alcoholic is someone that is dangerously close to the line of drinking way too much. So a lot of people know that they sometimes drink too much, but they might not know where the line is when it comes to having an issue with your alcohol consumption. So what's on the list here? What are the six signs? Uh, This is according to uh, Dr. Dave Nichols, a physician, medical advisor uh, for an online uh, health service, an application, an app. And he says that take a look at these six signs that you might be a borderline alcoholic. All right, let me guess. Is is starting every sentence with, let me tell you something. <laughs> that's an amazing son of a bitch. Uh, it's not, not, on, not on the list. That's usually an indicator so, for me. Right, here we go. Number one is drinking alcohol every day without realizing it. How do you not realize it? Well, it's sort of like if you're just popping a drink like you're just having a your... glass of juice or a you know glass of water. If you're just going for the alcohol, you don't even realize it. Uh, binge drinking often is next on the list. Only socializing if alcohol is involved. Number three. Well, that who doesn't do that? Number four, drinking frequently <laughs> during the day. That's a Roxanne thing. I mean, Roxanne so far is yeah. every category. No, I'm here. not. I've had one. I'm one for four so far. I don't. I. I'm really not that much of a day drinker at all. You told me about all the mommy like brunches you go to. Oh, that's once in a while. Uh, yeah, that's an occasional. We got thing. a text like. Three weeks ago on a Thursday, and she's like, hey, guys, I'm drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> like 4.45 in the afternoon. I'm like, hey, why 15 she, minutes, that's not that bad. Why is she sending this to us? 4.45 <laughs> somewhere. Thursday. I'm like, I'll see you tomorrow at work. Did you say it's 4.45 yeah. somewhere? <laughs> yeah, in West Chase. That's where it's 4.45. I mean, the socializing thing, why... Why do you socialize? Number five. <laughs> what? <laughs> Roxanne. Oh, great. Not, you're not making a good case for yourself. Only <laughs> socializing if alcohol's involved. All right, moving along. Number five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, number five is finding it irritating when others are not drinking. So you get angry and irritated if someone no. is not Drinking. Come on, have a shot, man. Have a shot. What's, 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 what's the matter? Come on, man. What are you, little bitch boy? <laughs> and then, okay, wow. That's and then, really aggressive. But <laughs> And then finally, consuming more than the recommended government guidelines. So those are six signs you oh, might be. Oh, the government guidelines yeah. are for weeds. I mean, what, you having Joe Biden tell you how many drinks to have well, now? Well, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Now, I want to segue into something. Come on, man. Put that down. And a list came out on who are the biggest drinkers worldwide. So where is the U.S. as an aggregate? I know who number one is. What? Who? British people. No. 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 Ah. See, okay, if we're guessing, no. I would have guessed. I would have guessed Russians. Oh, that's a good guess. No. Irish. Okay. Ira- yeah, Irish. N- Irish. N- no. What? Ah. Wait, is it going to no. be something like the Eskimos? Japanese? Right. This <laughs> list. Listen to this. This list on drinking. It's the percentage of people who had six or more drinks in one sitting in the last month. Who that Amazon tribe that hasn't had any contact with man. No. No? Oh, they killed that one guy. No. Did they? Number one is Denmark. Highest percentage during the survey of individuals that had six or more drinks in one sitting in the past 30 days. So cool. Denmark's number one. Because something either. stinks in Denmark, that, and that, you have that, to drink to not smell how bad it smells. That's the second time we've mentioned Denmark yes. today. There's something rotten in Denmark. And we've never mentioned Denmark before. Number two 
is Romania. Number oh, yeah. three is United Kingdom. So number three are the Brits. Uh, four is Luxembourg. Is Five it? is Germany, then Belgium, Australia. Where's the, Russia? Russia is is not it's not here. I don't even see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. U.S. is number 10. Uh, Ireland is number eight. Iceland is number nine. And the United States is number 10. I thought, like, Russian people would start drinking when they were, like, nursing. Yeah, right? And then they just, <laughs> till their yeah. liver exploded. Nope. Uh, not in the top 10, according to the biggest drinkers on the planet. No offense. But then listen to this. Women, when you extrapolate women, the U.S. is number three. So that's interesting. U.S. I'm sorry, number four. U.S. women rank fourth. Do you on define the list. Ex- extrapolate? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Ex- what did you say? Use it in a sentence. Can you, so, can you define? I don't know if you meant they took out the women or left them in. Hold can on, you what, define what, extrapolate? What, it's, it's, <laughs> I can't say the stupid it's, word. It's extrapolate. Oh, extrapolate. Can you, what, what do you just say it in the, the layman's term? Uh, well, that is layman. Uh, hey, well, what do you want to know? Okay, did, did they? Is it only women or is it without women? No, See, no, I just said you that, said ex- they extrapolated women. No, I said if they extrapolate the women only, if they take the women out of the sample, out of then, the sample. No, no, if they take women from the sample, then U.S. women are the number four biggest drinkers in the world. Now, before I move on. I'm confused. Yeah, all the sober I, men. What this is? <laughs> this is fundamental, man. But, okay, my Just, biggest problem is: Does Luxembourg, Luxembourg deserve an entry? Aren't, isn't that country smaller than Rhode Island? Dude, I'm yeah. just telling you what's on the list. Don't attack me for the list. What a dumb list. Yeah. All right. Let's mention the now, smallest country in the world. Now, alcoholics. Now, the whole binge drinking <laughs> thing is like if you have six or more drinks in one sitting, that is considered binge drinking. You know, as far as guidelines go. The recommendation is that men only have uh, what one, uh, two drinks a day. Isn't isn't that it? And then women should only have one drink a day. But it's it's not even like every day of the week. Hold on. Oh, hang, hang, hang on. Yeah. No, this is everybody's impor- going to be all down on themselves now. No, this is important <laughs> stuff. No, as far as what the the recommendations. Uh, here we go. For a typical adult pattern corresponds to. Da, 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 uh, okay, here we go. USDA, the USDA dietary guidelines state that women should have no more than one drink a day and men should limit themselves to two drinks. Boring. Uh, I, I, I only have a couple of drinks two days a week. Oh, I'm, you're so great. I, I might know. I might, <laughs> Michelle, we might have a couple of drinks like on Friday night or Saturday night. I'm usually never a weekday drinker. I'm not a weekend drinker. But, I only do weekdays. <laughs> <laughs> Mondays. I, I find that's what I've been doing lately. Two for Tuesdays, you know, we. But, back back. but before I move on, I was thinking about this, that a binge drinking session is like six or more drinks. I have never had in my life, I've never had six or more drinks in one sitting. Did you have a 20-something decade did, of your did life? Did you go to college? Yeah, did you did go you to college? Did you party? Yes, I did, but I've never consumed six or more drinks. I'm I, sorry. Gosh, what is your deal? You've never partied. Some drinks more drinks. I one time at an apartment was bet a hundred dollars to do an. There was a shot glass that was this big, eight shots. That's not a kit. shot glass. Eight shots okay. in one. That's thing. a Home Depot. We got, I got it. At Spencer's. That's a Home Depot yeah. five gallon orange Remember? bucket. I got it at Spencer's and it was an eight shot shot glass this tall. Bet me a hundred bucks to do it. Down the hatch. What was in it? Vodka. Vodka. Ugh. And I want a hundred bucks and I was sick for like I mean, two days. I'm sorry. Don't, All right, don't drink, kid. 